In today's video, we got another unboxing for you guys, another guitar unboxing, so don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back once again with another guitar unboxing video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a BC Rich Junior V Deluxe with a coffin case, both in mint condition. I'm not gonna waste any more time because this thing's been sitting in my living room for five days and I've been dying to open it. YouTube loves unboxing videos, I love unboxing videos, and I love doing them, so let's do this together. There's Skizzers, let's get it going. Let's get this Jimmy Hat plastic condom thing off of here. The other thing I'm excited about too is I got a guitar with a Floyd Rose on it again, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. All right, we got the box off. Now, I have never owned a coffin case before, and this thing looks freaking sweet. Never seen one in person, except for in pictures. This is a really cool looking case. So let's open her up. Let's see what we got. What's going on back here? Ah, yeah, there's a latch back there too. Didn't know that was back there. I love it so much. Oh, I missed you. Wow, man. These things are just awesome. Who would not want to, if you're a metalhead, how would you not want to have this as your guitar? This thing is just badass. Check this out, dude. Let's get this uh, protective stuff out of here. Oh my God, man. That is a freaking weapon. I love it. I love it so much. Oh. All right, there's a little bit of a scratch into the body back here, but that's on the back. I don't care. Minor, minor surface scratches. We gotta look at the hot spots, the tips, the wings. Let me shut this case. Case is freaking sweet. God, I love it. All the hardware, not corroded or anything like that. All looks good. No rust. Look at the tips here. Oh my God. You just don't see these guitars in that kind of condition. Usually those things are just beat to hell. People just throw them down the stairs and whatever. This thing is in really, really good shape. And it has that ugly abalone that people can't stand. But you know what, you're ugly because I think that looks great on this guitar. And what's cool is you get into a live situation in the dark lights, this whole, this whole body from the body all the way going up to the headstock along the fretboard will all glow in the dark. And you see the outline of that shape, looks wicked. Ah, I'm so glad I got this thing. This thing is just badass. Brand new strings on, I think, um, I gotta remember what he put in the description. I think it was 9 to 42 uh, Diodario strings. So they're on the lighter side, but it's in standard tuning. And uh, some of the features on this guitar would be obviously the EMG 8185 pickup set, which I love. I know it's kind of cliche, and you know, a lot of people have used these pickups, but for good reason because they deliver. And these BC Rich guitars from this era, if you can find them in this kind of shape, or even a little halfway beat up. Buy them up, use them, because they're great. I mean, we don't know, none of us know what's going on with BC Rich right now. Original Floyd Rose, which I love. Uh, and then this thing's all mahogany, it's neck through, it's not a set neck, so it's going all the way through the body. And that beast headstock is just the meanest looking thing ever. It's great. And put jack is in a good location right here, over here. Kind of watching the wall too, so I don't smack it into it. But no, this thing is actually in better shape than the previous one I had, um, which was still in great shape, but it had like a surface dingy thing that kind of went through right here by the volume switch. Um, but it didn't go all the way through to where it like chipped the paint or anything. It was just kind of through the clear coat. This thing is in phenomenal shape. Cause these, like I said, these things are usually just beat to hell. And uh, whoever owned this took really, really good care of it. Looks like the fretboard was nice and cleaned. I'm happy. Let's get up close and personal with her. Let's check her out.
and then here's that spot that I was talking about right there nothing too terrible like I said it's on the back of the guitar no big deal this thing's gonna get played it's gonna get played a lot and if you guys and you guys are wondering how the neck profile feels it's it's kind of a deeper almost like a Les Paul feel to it I mean you can still shred on it but um, it's a little bit meatier heavier of a neck um, but it's not a showstopper. I mean, you can still, like I said, you can still speed through. It's nothing like a Jackson neck or anything like that. Um, even like my BC Rich KKV, that one, that neck is even still thinner than this one. But yeah, it's not a deal breaker. It's still, you can still shred all over it. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not see that. I'll try the best I can. By the way, this is my new camera. This is the Sony a6400 mirrorless and I love it. Still trying to get used to it, trying to learn everything about it, but it's going to be a while. But it is a very nice camera. But yeah, this is a beefier neck for sure, but you get you get a very thick sound out of this guitar. I mean, it's plus it's got some weight to it. So it's a, it's a beefy, girthy guitar, which is good. I like them like that. One very, very important thing that I always look at on my guitars too when I get them is this right here. Let me show you. All these fret ends are nice and let me focus this so it stays on there and doesn't get blurry still learning the camera sorry guys but no all these fret edges are nice and filed down no sharp edges no jaggedness whatsoever both sides very very nice means these people care about you they don't want you cutting your fingers open when you're trying to play and i appreciate that so much because some guitars that you when you get them yeah they just they don't take the time to file down the edges and round them off and these are done very, very well. I'm very, very happy about that. Come on, BC Rich, we're counting on you. Let's plug her in. All right, I just absolutely have to do this. The very first note I hit on this guitar. Oh, I miss doing that so much. cap on what we have here right in front of me is uh here let's spin this camera around so we will look at this again once again together there's that piece of crap tripod that is going to see the dumpster very soon once i get a replacement for you okay what we have neck through body mahogany 
Eastern Mahogany, I believe. I think I'm 100% right on that. I hope I am. Original Floyd Rose, EMG8185. I wish it was a 60. I love the 60. I like it a lot more than this pickup. This pickup's just a little too, I guess, hummy, bassy for my liking. Really, really like the 60. So that might be a future thing. But who knows? Um, got the abalone going around here that a lot of people just think is tacky, but screw you guys. I think it looks great on this guitar. Like I said, when you uh, get underneath like a stage situation and the, you got the dark lights or you got some of the fluorescent lights showing, it illuminates this whole outline and it looks it looks sick. It looks awesome. Uh, Grover Tuners, 24 Jumbo Frets, Ebony Fingerboard. There, I got my whammy bar. And just a heavy, tough, meaty guitar right in front of me. I love this thing to death. I'm glad I picked it up again. And as I mentioned, I mean, these things are still in immaculate shape. These wings and then the headstock. Let me whip around here again. I mean, this is just like, you just don't see this. These things are always beat to hell. 